It will be Kaya FC and Davao Aguilas for the final match of the Copa Polino Alcantara 2023. First threat of the game was created by Kaya when Audi Menzi was able to receive the ball for a header. The cross, header, off the woodwork, close but not quite. Oh, Audi Menzi did very well there, picked his spot. They were able to create another opportunity right after the 19 minute mark but it just went straight to the keeper. Long ball here, Abusi connecting, denied at the bottom corner. Minutes later, it was Davao's turn to manufacture their own chances in the final third. Bugas taking it from distance. But pressure now, they get it. Call it the strike, denied by Kamarad. Fantastic hustle on the other end. Kaya had a possible penalty in the 31st minute when Dini Watara collided with Nano Amida inside the box. Nano, Watara, Nano getting hit. No call by referee Militon Pelayo. Everybody from Kaya, the supporters, the team, livid, especially coach Colum Curtis. And they had a couple of chances before the 45 minute mark, but they weren't able to capitalize. Rota, denied by Watara. And similar to how we started the game, a set piece from the left, the header, and it is over the bar and no goal. While on the other side, right before the halftime break, Davao's Yannick Toisson was able to score the opener of the match through a set piece. Bugas resumes play, the probing ball, that's the opener! Yannick Toisson giving them the magic in the second minute of additional time. Once again, Kaya was able to create early threats, this time in the second half. And here is the cross. We are expecting a right-footed delivery. That's exactly what we get, the header again, sailing over the bar. And in the 65th minute, Nano Amida had a smart defensive play against Watara, and he was able to score the equalizer for Kaya FC. As Watara got dispossessed at bouncing the ball, Amita gets it back for him! Game on! Nano Amita, clever as he always is, was lurking behind Watara. I think Watara forgot that the veteran was behind. Davao saw an opening in the 79th minute, but their shot was a bit wide and hit the post. Ferrer, Ferrer again, just shy of the back post. And that appeared to be inches away from glory. And before the 90 minute mark, their keeper Dini Watara was able to make a crucial save. And they were also lucky on the follow-up shot. Daiso! Denied! But looks like that is no good because the flag is up for Robert Lopez Mendy. We saw it from the run already. Kaya had another possible penalty early in the first half of extra time, but it was a non-call once again. But denied by the same man, Justin Bass got it off the rebound, takes it. And Fofana Johan again. Kaya pleading for a handball. Coach Curtis asking for a penalty. Yeah, it, it was handball. And they were pretty much in control offensively in this half as they were able to take more shots in the area. Daiso still dribbling in. Will he find it? Denied again. But Kaya get deep again. Punched away. Justin Bass. Then in the second 15 minute of extra time, it was still the same. As Bass takes this, deny it again. So here comes the delivery. Looks like Diano got it. A shot taken. On target, but it couldn't get past Watara. Now it's the left wing. Sir Daisos opted to operate as he sends it in. Off the one work off Watara. But it went to the boots of Andres and desperately sent it out. After 120 minutes and change of playing time, the match went to a penalty shootout. Sends it in, top corner. It is Watara versus Robert Lopez Mendy. They want to end this first set of sorts one all, but that is not the case. So it will be up to Quincy Camarad to play those mind games in hopes of getting them potentially on level terms. Quickly taken by Tuazon and denied. It's rough moments for both teams, stressful moments, but again, this is where diamonds are made. This is where legends are made. Bedik sends it in. Serge Kaole, four goals to his name this season. 
and it's now about converting this spot kick. And Quincy Kamarev denies it. Taizo Horikoshi, the Golden Ball winner, last PFL, sends it in. It's a chance now for Dabao. It's also delivered here. That goal put pressure on the next kicker of Davao Aguilas. Quincy Camarad raised in the Netherlands, but calls Metro Manila his home. Limbo! Watara needed to save this shot, or else they would kiss the championship goodbye. Gives it to them. And is denied! It seems we have a retake in the works. The assistant referee has pointed that Awatara did not have at least one foot on the line. And we've seen drama. Justin Basso retake for glory. Sends it in! Kaya FC won the shootout 4-3 to three and is now the champion of the tournament. Kaya FC Ilo Ilo started his game on the back foot. Yannick Tuwason gave Davo a goal. Nano equalized. Fast forward to penalties. Here we are today. A perfect way to end this Copa Paulino Alcantara 2023.